Doing more work on the Ranger today. We're welding in some rock sliders. Now this is a fun one because my good friend Brian and my good friend Torn are both gonna be going head to head welding to see, do you really need training or can you just do it at home? These are the brand new rock sliders that we got. I went ahead and sanded this with 400 grit and cleaned it off some parts cleaner just to get it ready for spray paint. And I can already hear you asking, spray paint? You can't weld through that. Billy Mays Let here. me introduce you to steal it. So this stuff is infused with 316 stainless steel, and so because of that, we can weld directly on it. But wait, and it's supposed what? to look like powder coat, so we're hoping it's gonna match the rest of the vehicle. So this is what it looks like after just two coats. If you look closely, you can see the shine of that stainless steel in there. This is after one coat on the top. I overdid it here a little bit, but it's on the inside lip that's going to get welded, so I don't really care. This is what it looks like mocked up. And next thing we're gonna do is take the angle grinder and cut out those rocker panels. Drew a line approximately where we wanna cut. All right, it's totaled now. It's about to be totaled. 1877 cars for kids. Got the rocker panel off. Just have a little bit back there that we need to get off. Nice. And then we'll mount this up and see how it fits. Got it mocked up. We're gonna clean up some of it, make sure it fits a little better, and then tack her. All right, we got Torin here. Brian's here. We got it all mocked up right where we want it. So this side is officially gonna be the amateur side because I did the cutting, Brian's gonna do the welding, and then Torin's gonna hit the other side and we'll see what the difference looks like. All right, boogers, here we go. <laughs> Oh boy, right? Your Yikes. I meant the settings, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this would be this would be moving, oh. right? But this is the fact that this isn't even moving concerning. Three hours later. Why is the machine doing that? It sounds like it's dying. And here we go. We're looking at Brian's welds. Um, oh la la! Well, I think the welds speak for itself. Good, Brian's gonna test out his welds. Uh, yeah, look at, look at these beautiful welds. Wow! Mmm. Saucy. You had to stack on, stack on, stack, you know, thin metal and heavy metal. Here's the test, I guess. This 
side is Torrens. He's opted to go and weld from the top rather than from the side like Brian did. So we put this welding blanket down on the inside to protect it. And we'll see how it goes. He basically pushed it down. We got tacked, so um, because there was a big gap. Because these these things came with no instructions, so you know we're just kind of willy nilly fitting them. The, we're, we're just gonna surround. Ready? Them. Yeah. It feels like the uh, the white girl on the couch. Hey, quit fapping. Machine's overheated again. We're gonna check out Torrin's weld so far. Wow. Messed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we should also note that this, mine was the trial one, so <laughs> our cut was about <laughs> that gap, so we had to do multiple passes with this. We figured it out and got it right on top of each other. Learn from our mistakes, folks. Don't do these. <laughs> <laughs> This is Torrens Well. He did one pass except for that area right there. But uh, pretty good. So we're seeing this a lot with the steel it. It kind of burns and bubbles and that's gonna be a pain in the butt to make look nice. So not sure I would recommend using steel it in the future. Are you sure about that? We'll go ahead and sand this down and then slap some paint on her filming this after the fact, but we went back and painted over the welds with the steel it. This is torn side all repainted. We also still have these to add to the bull bar, but we ran out of time. They'll look like this when they're done. Overall, I dig the look of them. They took a little bit longer than we expected, but all worked out in the end. The main difference comes down to time. It took Brian about three hours to finish it. Meanwhile, it took Torn about an hour and a half with one pass versus several passes in order to completely get it welded on there. We got a few things left to do for the Rangers, so be sure to check back soon and we'll have more videos. Thanks for watching.